Welcome to our Harlan campus. This is Chuck Sturgill, our campus director. How are you doing this afternoon? Very well. Uh, thank you for visiting our campus this afternoon. And uh, I think you're in for a treat. Uh, you're going to have uh, uh, the opportunity to visit with some of our technical programs. And the tour guide this afternoon is going to be taking us around. If I may introduce Sam. Absolutely. Is a couple of our student ambassadors. <laughs> First of all, the lady to my immediate right is Andrea Harmon. The lady to her right is uh, uh, Catherine Lundy, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> so Catherine, I understand you're going to take us on a tour of the next area. Yes, this is uh, the medical assisting program. This is actually the program that I'm in this semester. I'll be graduating in December. It's an 18 month program. Great. Joining us now is the instructor for the medical assisting program, Leanne Turner. Hello, welcome to our class. This is medical assisting and medical assisting is a um, allied healthcare career. It is a very versatile career and it includes administrative procedures, clinical procedures, and laboratory procedures. Uh, this is Kaylin Collins and she is actually performing a figure stick now. Uh, we're doing some open lab and practice and Kaylin, why did you choose medical assisting for this career? Um, the versatility, it's close to home, affordable, and it's a number one growing allied health field. This is our health science class and the instructor is Ms. Joyce Gibson. I'd like to introduce Joyce Gibson, the instructor for this program. And Joyce, why don't you tell us a little bit about the significance of this class? I understand these are all high school students. Yes, these students all get dual credit, uh, college credit, for being in this class. And when they graduate from high school, they'll be certified nursing assistants. This is the welding tech shop and the instructor is Marshall Smith. I'd like to introduce Marshall Smith. How are you doing this I'm afternoon? I'm doing very well. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your program here? Uh, this is just a basic welding program. Uh, students can achieve a welding diploma through the program. They uh, can become certified in stick or MIG. Um, there's a lot of different things that they can do. I allow them a, a lot of freedom to think and work through problems because I'm trying to teach them what the industry is looking for. So really just guiding them through the setups of the welders and uh, how to do the things that they need, need to do and uh, just allow them a free range to express themselves and learn to do what they're best at. Great. Uh, Ashley Hoskins here is she's real good with art and she came to me several times with little art projects and stuff so I've allowed her to do those things and stuff and a lot of people really enjoy looking at what she does. I've had people actually want to buy this right here off of I her. bet, I bet. So, but uh, yeah, she does an amazing job. Uh, she's a good welder. Uh, she stayed in the booth and, and practiced with, uh, we built X's and she stayed in our welding and uh, she just does a real fine job. This is the Machine Tool Tech Shop and the instructor is Michael Carmack. I'd like to introduce Mike Carmack. Yeah. How are you? Just fine. Uh, Mike, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on in your shop here? Sure. I, what we do here is, uh, you know, we're the machine tool technology field, and what we do is uh, manufacture parts such as uh, like car parts or uh, a lot of mining equipment in this industry, anything to do with metal and plastics and stuff. We precisionly form and shape them. Like this machine you see running behind us right here. Uh, Come this is the part that's being manufactured right now. Oh, okay. And what he's doing, he's starting with a solid block of aluminum, mm -hmm. and this is a computer-controlled machine. So he actually programs in everything he wants it to make, and it will produce this part. Well, and, and what is this part? This is actually a flange. It goes to a gas, part of a gas pipe, and it's a flange that we're making in here. It's actually just kind of a test piece that he's doing, but that's what the part actually is. Oh. And I just had him programming it and making the part. But there's many different things he's used for, and they're uh, they're a, a widely used machine, and they very it takes a skilled person to operate them and program them. Absolutely, and, uh, pay is really good. Right now, uh, I've had several calls lately wanting CNC machines. This is what they're called, and the pay is anywhere from twenty-one to thirty dollars an hour. So wow, the pay is really good, and there's a big demand for them right now. So these are adult students you have in here now, but I understand you also have high school students have that take yeah, this we class. Have high school, and we're kind of our own feeder program. 
we have high school that, that comes and takes it as their junior or senior years, and most of them comes back as adults and finish up the program that way. Okay. Because so, they are getting college credit, you know, when they're in their high school too, you know, if they come back to complete the program. Absolutely. So, yeah. so is this a degree program? Do uh, they get a... They can get the GOT, the General Occupation Substance Degree. You get a diploma, CNC machining, and then you can get the associates through the GOT, like a lot of our other technical programs are. Okay. Well, that's fascinating. This is the construction tech shop, and the instructor is Kenny Bowling. I'd like to introduce Kenny Bowling. You're the carpentry program coordinator, am I correct? Mm -hmm. And uh, you're going to tell us a little bit about what you all have been doing in here, your students. Hey, what we, what our program's made for uh, is to teach residential home building, uh, and, and the projects we, we work on in here were very lucky to get to work on, we call them bathroom core projects that we build for Kentucky Highlands. Uh, you can see them here. They're, uh, they have all the plumbing that goes in the house and about 75% of the electrical work of the house is built in these. Uh, and when we get done, we, we start with the frame. And on this particular one, we are going to be completely finishing this one uh, with the drywall, doors, windows, cabinets, appliances. It'll be completely finished. Uh, then they'll take them and set them on the foundation and build the rest of the house around it. Oh, okay. So this is actually going to be part of the house once we get done with it. Okay. So this, as the core, this is where the house starts, right. and then it gets built around. Right. So you've got two bathroom units and a washer dryer area here right. and then what was on the back side the back side is the plumbing wall of the kitchen where okay. you know the all the plumbing will be located in this unit uh, like i said most most of the electrical work will be done here uh, our electricity classes do all that work for us here uh, but it's a good good project for us and gives us a lot of hands-on experience here in the shop I'd like to introduce Doug Heron, and what is your title, what is your role here? I'm the uh, program coordinator for the Electrical Technologies Program at the college. And so you also are an instructor, Yes, correct? I teach uh, classes in the electrical program, also in the industrial maintenance program. So could you tell us a little bit about what you're doing in here? What do students learn from this Okay, Our program setup? basically starts with the basics of electricity. Mm -hmm. And after they've learned the basics, then we'll actually go in the lab and learn how to do separate, uh, several different things. And what we see behind us here is we're learning right now how to wire a home and do it in the proper way. So students are learning here not only how to do it in the proper way, but how to use the tools and how to uh, apply the processes they learn in the classroom. And this is Automotive Technology. And the instructor is Ronnie Daniels. I'd like to introduce Ron Daniels. And Ron, what is your title? I'm uh, Automotive Technology Program Coordinator, and I'm also the Industrial Technology Division Chair. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit about what your students are doing in here today? Today we've got several different programs or different <coughs> projects that we're working on. We've got a front-end alignment project going on over on the alignment system. We have a couple of students that are working on one of the hybrid vehicles, and uh, we've got a couple of students working on a fuel injection problem we've got on a little jeep truck back there. Harlan County Vocational School became a campus of Southeast in 2001. The Harlan campus offers a range of support coursework to meet the needs of a changing workplace. Specialized facilities are in place to provide short-term industry training to meet the needs of business and industry.